mean? You're going to add up all the numbers, and then you're going to divide it by how many numbers? So he said 22, 18, and you got to be loud here for the recording so people can hear it at home, and I don't have to repeat every single thing that we say here. 19, 61, and 21. Run out of room. Okay, he said add them up, divide by 6. So what was your answer? 26. 26. Okay, now Justin, what did you have to do to find it without? Uh, I took the 16 out and I did 22 plus 18 plus 15 plus 19 plus 21. Good, so add them all up and then divide by how many? Five. Yeah, because now there's only five numbers. You took one out. So what was your answer without it? 19. Good, 19. Now here would be a good test question. How did the outlier affect the mean? You would say it decreased it by how much? Seven. Seven, good. So that should be on your line. Write it on your line. The mean decreased by seven. And you should have that chart. Drop seven, that's saying good. All right, what about median? Um, nice and loud so they can hear it. Okay, Kimari, you can be nice and loud. Kimari? Yeah. Okay, median, how'd you do it? Um, I ordered the numbers for these guys. Okay, so read them all. Okay, so what's the middle number for that? What happened? There ended up being two in the middle. So what did you have to do now that there was two in the middle? Good. Add and divide by two, so the answer was 20. All right, now, Kimari, go back to the list and tell me uh, the median, how you did it without the outlier. Cross them out. Good. So there's one number in the middle. So the median was 19. So how did it affect the median? You should write down that it uh, it dropped one. The median dropped one on your lines, on your paper. Okay, mode. No mode, no mode. So it was not affected. All right, now that's going to be the hardest one on the homework on the back side. So if you need to go back to the video, you need to do that. Uh, numbers one, two, three, and four, those are pretty straightforward. You've got to know mean, median, mode, and range. So let's talk about number five, and then that might be all the time we have. So number five. Okay, Justin, read number five. Um, find the mean, median, mode for the set of numbers, the set of data. So some people were confused on this because there was a number line, actually a line plot. So someone tell me what that, what could you do to find the mean for that line plot? So you had some at four, and you had how many x's were at four? Okay, x, x, x. Okay, next one was five. How many at five? Four. So hand up and tell me how you would find the mean for these set of numbers. No, really, nobody. I'm just gonna explain it this time. So there's four of them. And then there was an 11, a 15, and a 16. 11, 15, and 16. Okay, so how do you find the average? There it is. There's your numbers. Uh, Tyler? So you add up all the numbers, and then you divide by how many numbers there are. So let's go ahead and add them up. Punch it in on a calculator. 4 plus 4 plus 4. Plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5. Plus 6, plus 6, plus 6, plus 6. Plus 11, plus 15, plus 16. So um, someone that had the answer, how much did that add up to be? Uh, yeah. 98. 98, he said. I, I'll just agree with you, and I hope that it was right. Um, now, okay, 98. Now, what do you still have to do to find the average? Um, you have to divide it by how many numbers. Okay, so how many numbers were there? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, punch it in. 98 divided by 14. So, what's the answer? The answer is 7. 7? Okay, so the mean was 7. So, I know a couple people had that. So, good job. All right, what about the median? How would you have to figure out the median for this? How would you figure out the middle number for those numbers that you see there, Dominique? Uh, uh, 
Okay, now, can you do it by looking at the X's? You might be able to. It might be hard. So what I saw somebody do, and this was great, I didn't even have to explain it, they wrote the numbers out. They wrote four, 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 uh, four fives, four sixes, 11, 15, and 16. And then here's what they did. They found the middle number. So let's do a little quicker way other than one by one. I'm going to go one, two, three, four on the left side, one, two, three, four numbers on the right side. Okay, now I'm going to go one by one. So one there, and uh oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five now, one, two, three, four, five. Because my thing is not a line. Okay, what's left? I got another five. Get that out of here. Another six. Good. So Dominique was right. There's two numbers in the middle. We got to go to the bell today, guys. So don't pack it up. Uh, two numbers in the middle. Add them up. Divide by two. So 11 divided by two. So the answer for the median was five and a half, five point five. Same thing. All right, what about the mode? Which one was the most? So the answer was five and six for the mode. Now, here's the thing, Kareem. I just went through examples that I know you would have problems with on the, on the homework. So go ahead and flip it over on the back. I'm going to cross some of them out. Um, do number one, circle it. So I can stop this. <laughs> 